Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. In the previous video, we have created role DTO. And in this video, let us create the role controller and let's add the role creation endpoint. So, this is the DTO we have created in the previous video. Let us create controller. Right click on controllers folder, add controller click on api api controller empty add name it as role controller and now this is role controller let's add the constructor that's the role controller so when we are working with create endpoint we need two things first one is the auto mapper so let's add the auto mapper private read only i mapper underscore mapper and let's inject that i mapper mapper and mapper equal to mapper okay first thing added we also need to add the repository so let's add the common repository private read only so i college repository of the role role repository so let's add the role import statement let's inject this in the constructor And now sign role repository to role repository. And also for common response, we need API response underscore API response. And let's create new object for that api response this one is the new syntax and that's it and if we want logger we can add that but for now logger is not required so now let's add the first endpoint public action result of role dto no no we need to return common response so api response create role and role dto space dto so that's the first endpoint what is the endpoint verb http it's a post and what is the route route is create okay now let's add the validation if dto equal to equal to null if dto equal to null return bad request right okay if everything is right let's start creating the role role equal to underscore mapper dot map role of dto so values from this dto will be copied to this object we need to fill other values like the values which are not getting from the end user is deleted is not coming from the end user so is deleted no it's false so and role dot created date equal to date time dot now and role dot modified date equal to same date time dot now okay we have added all the values let us cross check 
this will come from front end this will come from front end this will come from front end okay these three values we have added that's right now after updating the values we need to create underscore repository role repository dot create a sync of this role so here we need to put a wait because this one is a async method we need to put a wait so let's make the method as async so it will add async keyword and a task so also it will rename the method name now this is a asynchronous method so let's capture the response our result equal to this one and here we need to create the response do you remember we have created api response in the top here we need to fill that api response api response dot data equal to dto so before sending the dto we need to update dto dot id equal to result dot id okay because after creating the role it will get the id okay that id we need to store it in dto and we will return that dto as a data next underscore api response dot status what is this status success right true and what is the status code underscore api response dot status code equal to status code dot okay we can add this to the top you can click on this bulb using system.net and the creation is completed and let's return the created at route so we have discussed about this in student creation endpoint get role by id comma new id equal to dto dot id and along with that we need to return the api response but if you can notice we are creating first endpoint you can see there are no other endpoints in this controller but we are saying return this route with this id okay if you click this endpoint with this id they will get the new endpoint but until unless we create this endpoint so they cannot access this route okay remember that i'm just adding it for now but this will not work this will work once we create this get role by id so you can see in the student similarly so you, we have created get student by id right so until unless we have created this kind of method that won't work okay so we have created the create endpoint let us run it here is the role create endpoint and let's click on try it out let's go to the database before creating it let's explore the roles table you can see there are no records currently and let us try to create the first role what would be the first role let's create student role or let us create the admin role admin and description also admin is active true okay let me create and here you can see what we got 500 we got the error missing type map configuration or unsupported mapping so this one could be 
we got this error because because of this one we need to map the auto mapper okay let's go to the configurations folder auto mapper config okay here we have only configured it for student student dto let's configure it for role dto role dto to role okay let us retest it rerun this let's go to role try it out and this is the payload we have copied execute this time we got 500 error no route matches the supplied values okay so that is because that is because of this one okay so let's return this created it route once we create this one we have already discussed it right so until then let's create okay return okay response of api response okay once we create this we can enable this statement this may be failed at this line but this could have executed this line right by the time it should create the record let's go to database and check it execute it you can see there is a record so it executed this line and it came here and it executed all these lines when it is trying to execute this particular line so there is no route with this that's why it failed so record is already created let's create it again let me rerun this so here there is already a role with admin we have just now created let us create new role role name is super admin and description also same super admin execute here we got 200 okay so status is true status code is 200 data is this okay record id you can see it is 2 super admin let's go to db and execute it you can see the second record in the db so our create endpoint is working okay let's add the response types to our endpoint our endpoint is working okay this one is perfectly working now let us add the response types here produce response type status codes dot status 200 for now and status 500 also we have seen and bad request also possible 400 bad request and 401 unauthorized and 403 forbidden also possible and once once we enable this we will change it from 200 to 201 okay till then let's keep it 200 okay these are the response types now if we run now we can see the response types so here are the possible responses 200 is possible 400 is possible 401 possible 403 possible 500 possible okay for this 401 and 403 we need to add the authorize attribute on top of this role controller so i have intentionally avoided that to do a faster videos if we add that authorize attribute we need to log in every time and we need to get the token and we need to use that token it will be a lot of process that's why i haven't added the authorize attribute okay this is how we can create the creation role creation endpoint and from next video let us do the retrieval let's retrieve all the roles and let's display 
for more videos like this please like share and subscribe